Assalamu alaikum friends, this is Muhammad Inam and in this video I am going to speak about how to solve system of differential equations by Laplace transformation using matrix form. This video is going to be very interesting for math lovers. So if you are a math lover then see my entire video and if you like the video then subscribe my channel. So friends we have uh, one problem, uh, one system of differential equation and uh, I want to solve this by using Laplace in matrix form. So first of all I am simply, uh, simply writing this one in this way x dot of t equals to plus 2x minus y plus sine of t and this one y dot of t equals to minus 2x plus y plus 1 so um, the matrix form will be x dot of t y dot of t that dot shows a derivative with respect to time equals to a coefficient matrix 2 minus 1 minus 2 and 1 x and y plus a non-homogeneous part sine t and 1 I am using matrix form because if we have more equations than 2 then the substitution method will be uh, will be very difficult and the matrix method will be very useful because it is very easy to handle. So I am using matrix form here. Applying Laplace transformation. Applying Laplace transformation. We will have. So here I am going to apply Laplace. Laplace and Laplace. So. I know that Laplace transformation properties and that and I can see the table for the computations here will be s x bar of s minus x of 0 and s y bar of s minus y of 0 equals to the coefficient matrix will is a constant matrix so we can take it outside here will be 2 minus 2 minus 1 and 1 here is Laplace of x bar of s and y bar of s plus Laplace of sine t equals to 1 over s square plus 1 and Laplace of 1 is 1 over s now we have to collect x bar and y bar and then Laplace inverse using initial conditions x of 0 equals to 1 so I can rewrite this as minus 1 over 1 and y of 0 equals to minus 1 so here will be plus 1 or more simplification will give us s x bar of s s y bar of s this will be minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 1 x bar of s and y bar of s equals to 1 over s square plus 1 divided by 1 1 over s this coefficient matrix here if it's plus then here will be minus 1 and minus 1 and 1. Now we have to get our x bar of s. I can write this one as x bar of s and y bar of s. I am taking common x bar and y bar. So here will be s. 0 
0 and s identity matrix with multiplication of 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 and 1 equals to this uh, right hand side will be 1 over s square plus 1 plus 1 and 1 over s minus 1 so x bar of s y bar of s x minus 2 and 1 minus plus 2 and s minus 1 equals to s square plus 1 s square plus 2 s 1 minus s now I need a inverse matrix so I can multiply both sides and I can get my x bar and y bar so this is let's say this is a matrix R and I need the inverse of this R matrix so R inverse equals to adjoint of R multiply by determinant of R so here determinant of R equals to direct I'm getting it directly S minus 2 and S minus 1 and minus 2 implies that s square minus s minus 2s plus 2 and minus 2 determinant of r will be plus 2 and minus 2 cancel s square minus 3s this is determinant now for adjoint in a joint matrix this is rough for you have to be two in a rough side. Change this diagonal entries and change the sign of rest of entries. So if I'm going to multiply this by determinant of R, then this is S and S minus three. Here s and s minus 3 s s minus 3 s s minus 3 so this is our r inverse i i need to multiply this r inverse both side so we have the result will be x bar of s and y bar of s equals to s minus 1 divided by s s minus 3 minus 1 s s minus 3 minus 2 s s minus 3 s minus 2 s s minus 3 with this matrix s square plus 2 over s square plus 1 1 minus s over s now we so from here the multiplication of these two matrices we get this result i skipped this multiplication step because i hope you guys are very familiar with the multiplication of matrix then here after applying Laplace inverse, on Laplace inverse transformation, I have already published my one video 
that is very highly recommended for you so see the first one then here the, uh, we're taking the laplace inverse and we easily get this x of t and y bar of t the solution set which involves in that initial condition so this is one of the good example of good application of laplace function thank you